crime must be everyone's concern. As your Prime Minister, I took an oath to keep all who live in or visit our country safe. I fully intend to do everything necessary to deliver on that pledge. Prime Minister and Minister for Justice and National Security, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, with the backing of his cabinet, continues to implement systematic countermeasures, both at the policy and tactical levels, to curtail crime and ensure St. Lucia remains safe for citizens and visitors alike. Harsher penalties for firearm-related criminal offenses are now on the books. Royal St. Lucia Police Force operations have also benefited from the provision of additional resources, including access to training programs and new ground assets, such as motor vehicles. Legislation to establish a special prosecutor has been enacted, and the Forensic Science Laboratory has been granted accreditation from the American Association for Laboratory Accreditation. All of this was achieved in under 18 months. Concerning the increase in gun-related criminality, it is my sincere hope that the newly enacted laws by my government will have the desired effects. I am confident that recent discussions with the U.S. and French governments and their promised assistance in resolving the issues relating to illegal drugs, gun trafficking, and unsolved homicides will be provided to our country. In recent weeks, you will have heard of or read of the several successful police raids that resulted in the confiscation of dozens of weapons, high-powered automatic firearms and ammunition. The raids will continue this year with increased intensity. The peer administration is attacking all forms of crime at all levels of society. During his New Year's address to the nation on January 8th, the Prime Minister announced his cabinet had agreed to revisit a critical forensic investigation into the possible misuse of public funds. That investigation did not progress after the government changed hands in 2016. The government, consistent with its pledge to pursue good governance and anti-corruption policies, has reached an agreement with international forensic accountant Robert Linguist for his resumption of an incomplete investigation into the awarding of a contract in 2009 for a project to redevelop the Humanora International Airport. Robert Linquist was first retained in 2012 by the government of Prime Minister Dr. Kenny Anthony to conduct that investigation. The investigation was stopped in 2016 as the United Workers' Party administration, which came into office that year, did not authorize its continuation. The Prime Minister has again appealed to all St. Lucians to work together in the ongoing fight against crime. My family and I have been victims of crime. I know only too well how traumatic it can be to have one's home violated or attempts to tarnish one's reputation. All St. Lucia must come together to defeat this crime pandemic. It's a life and death situation that we cannot afford to lose. Prime Minister Pierre continues to actively pursue viable crime reduction solutions with domestic, regional and international stakeholders and partners to facilitate the continued mobilization and deployment of resources to the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. From the Office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.